Maize is a staple food in many African countries. Smallholder farmers depend on maize for food security and their livelihoods. But farmers face grave challenges such as drought and nutrient-starved soils. Often, they are not able to purchase or access fertilizer to strengthen the soils. On average, fertilizer in the area is sold for over 40 US dollars for a 50 kilogram bag. The adoption of fertilizer has been high until of recent when uh, the prices of fertilizers escalated. Farmers are using, but they are underusing fertilizer. It may be due to as a result of the, the prices escalating. Samuel Gidombe and his wife Regina are smallholder farmers. They grow maize on a small portion of their land in a semi-arid area in Kibwezi district of Kenya's eastern province. This crop is a source of food for their household of nine. What they harvest is not good enough to ensure that they have food or other items they need to buy. <laughs> They know the soil on their homestead is depleted, but cannot afford to buy and apply fertilizer. Like most African countries, Kenya does not manufacture its own fertilizer. The cost of importing and transporting the input inland pushes it beyond the reach of many farmers. Fertilizer in Africa is a lot more expensive than, say, in the States or in Europe. Uh, there's no own production in Africa, so it has to be imported. Uh, agriculture is a country, so if you bring it, say, to Mombasa, it's already a higher price. Then to take it to Western Kenya, it would double the price. Government subsidy programs help to get the important commodity to farmers, but it does not reach everyone. Very few banks will give farmers uh, a credit to buy the fertilizer. And then the last factor is the price risk. You might have a good crop, but then all your neighbors also have a good crop and the price, uh, the price collapses and you can sell your maize at a decent price and you don't recover your fertilizer. To help these farmers get good yields from their soils, CIMIT, in partnership with the National Agriculture Systems in Kenya and South Africa and the private sector, are breeding maize varieties that can tolerate low nitrogen levels. This initiative is called Improved Maize for African Soils, or IMAS. Through this initiative, farmers like Gidombe will be able to access improved seeds to grow maize with high yields. Semi technicians gave Gidombe's family an IMAS variety to plant alongside the variety he grows currently that is available in the market. He planted this side by side on his farm on adjacent plots. We visited him at harvest time where he compared the yield from these varieties. <laughs> For Gidombe, better yielding varieties that address his current challenge of drought and poor soils means he has more food for his family. He will not have to do more casual labor to meet his household needs. In addition, his chicken will have more grain for food and the goats more stover to feed on. The Imas varieties are bred to take advantage of even the little fertilizer farmers can apply. Farmers who use more fertilizer will have even higher yields. This is bringing hope to many millions of farmers and therefore the more 
we do, you know, activities together. It could be the water efficient maize for Africa, insect resistant maize for Africa, now in, in, you know, improved maize for African soils. This is collaborative ventures to ensure that the farmer gets what he needs or she needs to improve productivity or specific uh, uh, crops. The project combines state-of-the-art science and technological expertise from local partners to help farmers. Samba, okay, let's have